Nothing screams the holiday season like heeding the call. Stay tuned, Howler Brothers coming your way. Howdy friends, Brian Fleshig of Mad River Outfitters in the Midwest Fly Fishing Schools, and it's the holiday season 2022. And I have asked my friendly elf helper, Linda, to help me walk you through the fall 2022 line of Howler Brothers. And around here, we heed the call. We really do. Howler Brothers is a big deal for us around here, and in all fairness, Linda kind of runs the Howler department. So uh, she knows this stuff actually better than I do, but um, I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of Howler Brothers Fall 2022, which of course, every single piece of this would make a great gift item. So let's jump right in and plow through Howler Brothers 2022. So first of all, Howler Brothers is of course, very well known for their shirts. And they do these embroidered shirts in the springtime uh, you have the, uh, what's the name of the shirt in the springtime? The uh, gaucho, snap. gaucho Snap Shirt. I told you she knows it better than I do. So uh, the Crosscut Deluxe, it's a little heavier than the Gaucho Snap Shirts, and they also do some embroidery on the back. And for this fall, we have the Pictographs, and then we have also this one, which is called Sunbeams. Uh, that's actually my favorite for this fall. And then, of course, um, the Dust Up Denim, is next up on the list. And the dust up denim is just a classic Western take on the, uh, uh, on a denim shirt. It's got some kind of Western yokes on the, on, the, on the pockets, Western yoke on the back. And it's a fairly significant weight uh, on this shirt. Oh, and it has pearl snaps. Thank you, Linda Elf. And then we have the um, Andros Blue in the H bar B tech shirt. This is a very technical fishing shirt, yet still looks good enough uh, to wear around the shop, for example. And this has regular uh, snap type buttons, little Western yoke, and that what's called Bonefish Gray. Um, great, great shirts. These have been selling really well in the shop. Next up, the legendary Harker's Flannel. This is a showpiece for Howler Brothers. It's been in the line for years, and people like the Gaucho Snap shirts. Uh, folks actually will collect these. So we have people come in buy a new color of Harker's flannel. This one's called Grice Plaid Wheatfield. And then we have Grice Plaid in the Aqua Pool. Uh, really, really cool shirts. I own several of these myself, super soft, um, but just great looking flannel shirts and some of our best around the shop. Uh, the Rodanth flannel really become one of my new favorites. It's, uh, I believe it's 100% cotton and it is more of a blanket style. This is really like the flannel that your grandfather wore that you found in your dad's closet. Um, this one is called Outback Plaid in Blooming, and I'm wearing the Outback Plaid in the Soul Glow. It's my new favorite shirt. Next up, we've got some fleece pieces, and this is a really cool piece of fleece. We call them fleece. It's a fleece. <laughs> and this is called the Talisman Fleece. And it, this is a zip up. It's got some nylon treatment on the front, some pockets. It's a, it's a lightweight fleece. It's gonna work great as a layering piece, but you can wear it as a lightweight jacket and still wear it around the shop, for example, like we do. Antique black and olive. And then we have Dijon deep khaki. Not Poupon, it's Dijon. Um, that's been a great seller. And then there's a, a, a even lighter weight, just slightly lighter weight in a pullover. It does not have the accent, got the kangaroo pockets, and this is called the Palo Duro Fleece Hoodie. It comes in fatigue green and then the pumpkin orange. Really soft. Super soft. This has been doing really well in the shop as well. Next up, the classic Shaman Hoodie. This has been in the Howler Brothers line for several seasons, if not more. Um, it is uh, like a pullover with the kangaroo style pocket but it is a full zip, so it's not a pullover. And of course, it's got this jacquard type uh, uh, treatment to it up front. And you've got the Adobe, which I think is this color. 
You've got the Adobe, and this one's been doing really well. That's a cool color. And this is called Smoked Blue. But this is an iconic piece for Howler Brothers. Again, been around for years. And then we do have some standard uh, hoodies, which are somewhere uh, over here. Are they over here? Standard hoodies. Oh, there they are. Hold on. Oh, present. Oh, wow. Able nippers. Wow. Able nippers. Available now at madriveroutfitters.com. Standard hoodies, just super soft, super good looking. Heed the call. This one is called Distant Forms, and it's got the distant forms heading down the sleeve. And then we have, uh, it could be peyote. And then we have the Camp Howler, uh, which is uh, a great color. That one's been a good seller. I'll put those back. If we get into jackets, we have the Spellbinder Parkas, which are over here. The Spellbinder is, uh, I believe it's a little heavier, don't you think? Heavier than the Merlin jacket? Or is it the same? I think it's the same. Never mind. It's the same as the Merlin jacket. It just has a hood, okay? So the Spellbinder Parka comes in the hideout green, which is over here. Hideout green with the black hits. And then you've got the Midnight with the pale blue or smoked blue uh, hits on the, on the uh, shoulders there. And next up is... Uh, the, the voltage full zip. Here we go. Uh, I'll take a vowel, please. Yeah. Uh, the Spellbinder Parka, um, or excuse me, I'm sorry, this is the voltage full zip. This is a much lighter weight. Uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's, a, it's almost like a windbreaker with some insulation to it. Uh, and it's just, uh, they call it the voltage because if you look really close, you can see it's sewn basically in kind of a lightning bolt kind of configuration. It does have a hood, so it's a little bit lighter weight, and that comes in the Adobe, which is that kind of orange color, and then we have coal black as well, okay? And so that's the, the lineup of, Je no, it's not. The iconic Merlin, how, how could I have forgot? You've been trying to show trying. that. Yeah, <laughs> Linda's been trying to show this to you, and she finally gets to. So the Merlin jacket has been, is a classic, iconic Howler Brothers piece. Uh, this has been in the line for years. Again, people collect these things. Um, it's just a, a great knock around three season type jacket. And this is called, this is called the Hideout Dip, believe it or not. This is Hideout Dip and this is Working Man's Tan. Again, in the iconic Merlin jacket, which Howler Brothers is kind of known for in the jacket. So there's your three jacket line up. And then the vests, some of my favorites. This is the Voltage vest, or the Voltage quilted vest. Again, this is the vest version of the Voltage full zip jacket. Um, and this comes in the copper mine, which I am wearing. And also comes in night sky, which is a kind of a deep blue. They got alternate color hits on the inside. Just a super great weight, again, for knocking around. I've been wearing it around the shop. Um, just an excellent, excellent vest uh, from the folks at Howler. And then uh, to finish up the vest, you have the rounder vest. Again, this has been in the Howler Brothers line for years. It's, it's a fairly heavy weight vest. I mean, this is a great layering piece. Uh, you know, this is definitely a winter type of vest. Uh, snaps, alternate colors on the inside but the rounder vest, a little bit of a Western yoke on the back. So the rounder vest comes in the kettle black and the smoked blue and British khaki, okay? British. British khaki, it's not just khaki, it's British. So of course, Howler Brothers is well known for their hats and t-shirts. We've got some great offerings this year. They do have some long sleeve t-shirts uh, for the fall season this year. And then we'd like to finish up with, um, Kind of a really, really cool piece that we're really excited about around here. And that's the Howler Brothers Disco Beanie. I mean, it doesn't get any better than a Disco Beanie. You've got the brown and white with the Howler electric logo, and then you have the red, white, and blue with kind of a Howler 
take on uh, Chiquita Bananas, I think. So anyhow, the disco beanie from Howler Brothers, two colors. And that's it, right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Linda. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. And thanks for your support of a small family-owned business like Mad River Outfitters this holiday season. We hope that you'll check out Howler Brothers at madriveroutfitters.com and uh, heed the call. All of the links to everything that we just showed you are right below our feet, right down there. Look, see them? Got it. Links, links are right below us. Hit those links. If you have any questions, you can give Linda the Elf a call. Not only does Howler Brothers make for great gifts, but if you just want to look good at Christmas, heed the call. So check it out at Matter for Outfitters. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and watch.